Our beautiful gardens were put in over the winter between 2017 and 2018. They are designed by Juliet Sargent, who is a Chelsea Gold Medal winner. They have been taken from grass lawn to landscape garden. The garden has been designed to be separate rooms where each space would give you a totally different feel. This area here is our shaded garden. This garden has geums, which are lovely and colourful, oranges and reds, right the way through to hydrangea that are white that glow around the edges through the evening. In the daytime, this, this middle section here is all in the sunshine. From two o'clock, it's in shade, so it therefore is the perfect place to come and relax. This section of the garden leads into our wisteria walk, which is just here for you. This section gives you firstly an aisle if you are a bride, where you are able to arrive through the pavilion doors and walk all the way down the aisle. This lovely section is all done in oak. It has pink roses, which will climb all the way up the beams. It has wisteria, which is structured all the way down the walkway, as well as clematis, as well as catmint that will then cascade towards you. The beauty of this space is that gives you lots of room to move. So should you want to walk down an aisle or should you want to just do photographs, then you have either option. The aisle then leads you to the new bandstand area, which is just behind me. The bandstand starts with a maze, which has been laid specifically for an area where the chairs can go for a ceremony. This space can sit from six guests up to 150 guests and it can be completely up to you how you would like it arranged. It can either have arcs of chairs or straight lines of chairs. We can make sure that you get to the aisle smoothly by first of all entering through the archway, swinging round to the olive tree just here, and then coming down a central aisle here into our bandstand. The bandstand is surrounded by plants that are all white. So all this area in this section here is white, with beautiful roses that repeat flower, olive trees, wedding cake trees, white wisteria which grows over the bandstand here, and to the back of the bandstand on the right hand side there is a creeping rose which is called Wedding Day, and there is a white clematis that will in time grow up the side of the bandstand and grow over the top of the structure. That will therefore give you a lovely soft look as the garden can only get better. The garden then takes you through the lavender walk, which is to the right-hand side here, where the whole of this left-hand side of the garden is blue. So the lavender here gives you a nice soft look and it takes you from white to something blue, which is very lovely for a wedding day. This section of the garden is called the Pavilion Prairie, where everything that's planted in the beds is wildflowers. It's designed so that the air will move through the flowers and create a very relaxed approach to a soft area of the garden. Along the pavilion walkway, where we have our lovely oak beams, we have a variety of thornless roses that will grow up the beams and then will go along the top. They are apricot in colour or peach and they will join together at the top and at either end there is a wisteria which will grow up and will do exactly the same thing as it joins in the middle. This will create colour all the way along this walkway as soon as it's grown to the top to make it all fit together. When all the plants have matured, it will create us garden rooms. Along the outside edge of this garden is a plant called Pleached Beach. This over time will fill out and will create a whole border, which is a raised hedge which will go all the way along. That will give our pavilion prairie and this area here complete privacy so that you can sit calmly, read a book or just relax. Here we have beech trees which will fill out and grow up which will create an eight foot gap between one side and the other giving the area outside the Sussex barn a private space for their events in the evening. The Sussex barn has a garden here which is planted predominantly with hot plants. It has two beds which are planted in ericaceous soil that are acid loving, which throughout the year will give us soft grasses, it will give us azalea, it will give us all sorts of things that create different colour at different times. Then the beds in the centre give us daisies now, give us canna lilies in the middle, and throughout the year the colour will change. 
The fountain was included in the design of the garden so that we gave our bride and grooms and our guests a beautiful area where they could sit, relax and have lovely photographs. It was designed so that it was nice and soft and created a lovely cooling atmosphere regardless of whether the day was hot or the day was cold. In fact, in the winter, the fountain is fantastic when it freezes because it just looks magical.